Okay, so my last video, I covered the Outbreaker 2 from Able Carry, and not long before that, I covered the Venture Ready Pack from Bellroy. Now, on my channel and other channels that reviewed these packs individually, I've seen a lot of people ask the same question, which is simply, which one of these two packs should I go with? So today, I thought I'd help highlight some of the differences, some of the similarities, and maybe help you answer that question. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first major difference that's gonna come in with both of these bags is gonna be the price point. The Bellroy Venture here clocks in at 259 USD, whereas the Able Carry clocks in at 162 USD, meaning there's about a $100 price difference in both of these bags. Now, the next major difference is gonna be the material. The Bellroy Venture here is made from the recycled material that Bellroy uses on pretty much all of their bags, whereas the Able Carry is made in two different types of materials depending on what color you get. If you get the green one here like I have, then you get it in the X-Pack material, and if you go with the black, then you get it in the Ripstop Nylon material. Okay, let's talk about how comfortable these bags are. Now, both of them have really solid shoulder straps that have great padding, great foam, and in any scenario that I use both of these at in the testing periods for both of these, whether it be hiking, going down to the cafe, travel, they both held up in the comfortability factor. They both also have great sternum straps and they have these little like strap holdy things. I know somebody just commented what they're called. I think they're called like strap stays or something. They both have that. So if you don't want dangling straps, you got that option. As well as this is what both of the bags look like on me. Now for reference, I am 5'8", 170 pounds. And again, both comfortable carries, both look good on the back of the bag. No matter what your frame is, I think these are both gonna work really well for you. And again, if you're struggling in the, you know, like what differences and what you want on these, one thing they also share is they both come in around 25 liters, 26, 25 to be exact. Okay, in terms of straps, you actually have more grab points on the Able Carry Outbreaker than you do on the Bellroy. You actually have four straps on each side of this bag, whereas on the Bellroy, you just have the one strap up top. So not as easy to rip and grip, but plenty of spots to grab on the Outbreaker, little less on the Bellroy. Okay, let's talk about hardware on these bags, right? One thing that they both have in common, again, is that they're both made from Weather Guard YKK zippers that both have extremely nice zipper poles. And honestly, in the zipper department, they just don't miss. Both of these are great. If you're worried about hardware, they both match up spectacular. They both have great hardware. They're both built extremely solid. And whichever material you're leaning towards, you're still gonna get a good deal there as well, because I honestly like both of these quite a bit. Okay, so now with the like base layer of what these bags are made of in terms of hardware, material, carry, and things like that, and those similarities and differences, let's move into what I think most people really care about, and that's gonna be organization and pockets when it comes to both of these. So in terms of organization, the Bellroy is definitely going to outmatch the Outbreaker. Like I said, you also have a quick access compartment here on the top of this bag, whereas on the Outbreaker, you only have the side pocket and the water bottle pocket, and then just two pockets on the inside. You don't get a lot of organization on the Outbreaker, so if you're looking for that, then the Bellroy is where you might wanna lean. Hence the higher price tag, because this does offer a little bit more than the Outbreaker, about $100 more to be exact, realistically, because you get extra organization and you just get a couple extra things with this one that you don't quite get with the Outbreaker too. But in terms of a day pack, they're both really, really solid. If you're looking for something simple, maybe to go down to the cafe with a basic loadout, maybe a quick grab and go for like a trip that you have going and you need like a carry-on or a personal item or something just very minimal, maybe you use a lot of pouches and you don't care too much about organization, then I think the Daybreaker, sorry, Outbreaker, is gonna be right for you. I thought about including the Daybreaker and the regular Venture in this video, but I figured that might get a little bit too crowded having four bags, because four's a crowd, three's a company, and two is a perfect number and one is lonely or something like that. I honestly don't know how any of those things go, but what I was getting at before my brain traveled off into the great green yonder, uh, which is also ironic because I can't see the color green, well, I'm getting so lost. Hang on. <laughs> my point is, is that you're looking for something minimal, maybe you utilize pouches and you need something small, cheap and effective that's going to be durable. Because again, the durability and the hardware factors on these bags, I put them at the same. So I would not let that impact your decision because there's really not much to impact there. But if you're looking for something basic, I think the Outbreaker 2 is the way to go. That cheap price tag, under $200, made from solid material, minimal organization, works great for pouches, and is just a good all around grab and go bag. Or maybe you're looking for something with a little bit more organization, maybe a little less pouches, maybe something a little bit, mm, I don't know, fancier in a way, because that's about the only way I can differentiate these two is that I would say that the Bellroy is a smidge bit fancier. If you're looking for something that when you go on a trip, you want that extra organization, you want that quick access. When you're going to the cafe, you want things to be organized inside the bag without pulling out pouches. 
things like that, then I think that this is definitely gonna be what you want. In my opinion, this is 100% worth the $259 price tag. I'm a big fan. I bought the regular Venture and I was lucky enough to have Bellroy send this one to me, but I would have paid full price for this regardless because it is a very solid bag and one of my favorites. Same with this Outbreaker. I think that if you wanna keep it under $200, like I mentioned before, this is a great, 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 great one to go with. So with all that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about either of these packs, the Outbreaker 2, or the Bellroy Venture Ready Pack, let me know in the comments below, but I also have videos that go fully in depth with loadouts, more footage, more examples, more details about both of these that I have put cards up, but I will also link in the description below. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about either of these wonderful bags, you can do so. Thank you guys again so very much for all the love and support. It means the absolute world to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that wonderful nonsense, and I will see you next time.